everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the fleur de lis stitch. Uh, this time we're going to learn how to crochet it in one color because it is slightly different than the two color version uh, that you will also find here on my YouTube channel. So today we're going to learn how to crochet it in one color. This is a very textured stitch. Uh, using back post double crochet stitches and clusters. It's absolutely beautiful once you get the hang of it. Uh, and almost has a lacy like appearance to it. So we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch today. I'm going to be using a little bit of paint box cotton yarn as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly and every Sunday with a new stitch tutorial. Also, while you're here, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Fleur de Lis stitch. And uh, you can let me know down in the comments what you would use this stitch for in a project. Our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of six stitches plus three. So today I'm going to begin by chaining 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by skipping the first two chains, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and then by working one double crochet into the next chain. Next chain one, skip the next two chains, and into the next chain work one single crochet stitch. Chain one, Skip the next two chains into the next chain. Work three double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across chain one. Skip the next two chains, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one skip the next two chains, work three double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next two, single crochet. When you come to your final three stitches, you're going to chain one and simply finish off the row by working two double crochet stitches into that final chain. That brings you to the end of your row one. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Single crochet into the top of your first stitch at the base of your turning chain. You're then going to chain two. You're now going to work a back post raised cluster around the next three stitches. To work your back post raised cluster, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, working from back through the front, out through the back again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the next single crochet stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, the double crochet, inserting your hook from the back through to the front, around the post, 
out through the back again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's your back post raised double crochet. You can then chain two and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, back post raised, cluster around the next three stitches. Chain two and single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way to the end of your row. When you come to the end you can chain two and then work a single crochet into the top of your starting chain three. That brings you to the end of your row two. For your row three, chain three, it counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. We're now going to work one double crochet into that same stitch. Your chain three also counts as a stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain two space and single crochet into the top of your next cluster stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain two space into your next single crochet stitch, work three double crochet stitches. Chain one and single crochet into the top of your next cluster stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across. Chain one, three double crochets in the next single crochet. Chain one, single crochet into the top of your next cluster. When you come to the end of your row, chain one and work three double crochet or two double crochet stitches into your final single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. And that's it as far as the pattern repeat is concerned. For now, in the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. So the row two was a chain one, turn your work, single crochet in that first stitch, followed by your chain two and your back post raised cluster over the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way across and then followed by your row three, which we just worked. So thank you so much for joining me on this, this tutorial on how to work the fleur de lis stitch all in one single color. Again, if you'd like to learn how to work it in two colors, uh, you can take a look uh, here on my channel and you'll find the video for that one there as well. So thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next Sunday for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.